right, three from me with Ali Hassel Collins. Thank you so much for joining us. You have three tokens that mean something special to you from both on and off the pitch. And can you take it from here? I can. Uh, so my first, a bit of a one slash two, obviously very recently, um, first cap for England, uh, number 1451. Uh, obviously a very special day for me and my family, you know, a lot of, lot of hard work got to that point and a lot of sacrifices um, so it was nice to finally kind of have those sacrifices pay off and get to get to there but yeah obviously only two so I know I want to keep pushing and you know, get, get on the scoreboard and all that stuff so there's a few more goals to get but yeah I'm happy I got, got the first one and I'm, I was in there. Can you describe briefly what it was like lining out versus Scotland for your first cap in front of your family? Yeah it was um it's hard to explain obviously when we were lining up in the tunnel, there was I was actually standing next to Ben White, who obviously at London Irish as well, which is quite cool. So we were walking out together, um, and then when we were lining up, I noticed my my parents in the and my sister in the crowd. So you could spot them. So yeah, so that was nice. Um, and then yeah, obviously seeing the national anthem. Did it at 18s and 20s, but it's not quite the same in front of a packed out Twickenham um, against Scotland. Obviously a massive massive game for the Car Car. Car. So that no, was cool. Unbelievable. What was it like for to get your hands on the ball for that first time, that first touch, and I suppose to kind of ease the jitters? Yeah, I think that, that's, that was crucial to get get involved early, um, just get a carry or a tackle or just doing something. Because yeah, like I say, it's, once you get into it, it's you know it's another game of rugby, and you know you, you do it for your life, you're living and you train it, you do it every day, so it makes it a little bit easier once you yeah once you get get the ball or get that early early involvement. Brilliant. Um, so that's number one and two. What's number three? I'll say that's number one. Oh, excuse me. Uh, this <laughs> number two, um, it's my Harry Potter book. Um, this obviously Philosopher's Stone, uh, the first the first book, obviously got me into it all, um, and from there it was just read all the books, watch all the movies. Like I said, watch watch the movies for every game. Um, you know, we'll do Harry Potter marathons. We'll go to the studio to always do. Yeah, I just love it. I just love. The whole, the whole thing, the whole story, just yeah, everything about it. What do you find so fascinating about it? Um, I think it's just, it's just so cool. <laughs> I just love to be in that. You know, everyone says it like, I love to go to Hogwarts and do all that and be a wizard, and I just think that'd be that'd be wicked. So it lets imagination run wild. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, very different. I like it. <laughs> number three. Uh, number three would be this bracelet. Uh, it's from my girlfriend Eloise. It's, it means strength in uh, Morse code. Um, it's kind of, we got, it's, I don't know, it's a bit weird. We were saying one day we're going to start learning Morse code so we can talk to each other if we want to like, leave leave place. We just start tapping and we start leaving leaving something. But so we kind of got that. And then she, yeah, she got this for me when I first got involved with the England stuff. Um, and then, yeah, just haven't taken it off since. Strap it, strap it up when I'm playing. Um, yeah, so that's quite. quite Quite a nice thing to have. That's brilliant and a great idea too. I'll <laughs> yeah. grab that one from you. <laughs> yeah.